We asked him to call the police and inform them. We were able to pinpoint the location of the bike. The police then took a chase. The person on the bike was very quick to use footpaths and pebbles. Bike Tracks hat schon so manchen Hit gelandet. Jede Woche erreichen uns neue Erfolgsgeschichten, wie unsere Kunden ihre gestohlenen E-Bikes aufgrund des GPS-Trackers wiedergefunden haben. Höchste Zeit, mit diesen Leuten zu sprechen. Who are you and why do you use the Bike Tracks GPS-Tracker? Uh, my name is Simon White. Uh, I do run a company that rents lots of e-bikes. So having a uh, GPS tracker uh, really helps us uh, keep track of where the bikes are. Can you tell us about the incident with one of your e-bikes? So this happened a couple of months ago. Uh, it was a bike that was on rent to someone from us. Uh, they had locked the bike up outside their home. But when they went in the morning to use it, They discovered that the bike was no longer there. How did the criminals steal the e-bike in detail? We think, to the best of our ability, and again using the information provided by the GPS tracker, that they were able to carry the bike away a little distance, to somewhere less visible, and then use uh, a cutting device to remove the immobilizer lock that was fitted to the bike. What did you do after noticing the theft? Yeah, so what, what happened was the client called us to inform us that the bike was stolen. We immediately ref, referenced GPS tracker information uh, and we could see that the bike was moving fairly near to where he lived in the local, in the local vicinity. Uh, we asked him to call the police and inform them um, of, of that and to let them know that the, the, the bike was being tracked. At the same time, someone from my company went out to help Uh, find the bike as well uh, with the help of the GPS tracker. How was the theft solved? So after a little while, we found that the bike appeared to be stationary, uh, a couple of miles away from where the theft had taken place. Um, we were in contact with the police at that point in time, and about an hour after the theft was reported to us, um, the staff members was on site as well. We were able to pinpoint the location of the bike and the police quickly arrived after we, we found that location. During the process of trying to establish exactly where that bike was in that location, we saw the bike then move off again. Uh, our staff member saw the bike be ridden away and the police then took chase. But the, the person on the bike was very quick to um, uh, use footpaths and back doubles. All which were being monitored on our live GPS tracking. Eventually, after about 20 minutes, the bike uh, came to rest again, and we were able to kind of catch up with it. We found, and we actually found the bike parked down a footpath. The thief had actually decided to lock the bike to uh, some fencing, but uh, we didn't actually catch the thief, but we were able to recover the bike. All in all, it took um, <clears throat> less than three hours from the theft of the bike uh, for us to have it back in our possession again. How did the police react to the GPS tracker in the e-bike? Uh, the police were quite surprised actually. They hadn't been very aware of um, GPS trackers being fitted to uh, e-bikes previously. They were impressed with the accuracy and our ability to follow in live, in live, live time with the, uh, the, the action of the bike. And it certainly helps them and us find the bike in a very quick time. To what extent did the Bike Tracks GPS tracker help solve the case? Uh, so, without the GPS tracker, there would be no investigation, there would be no recovery of the bike as far as we're concerned. That bike would have disappeared and would have been a loss to us. And so, uh, yeah, it, it really um, uh, has helped pay for itself and pay for our investment in trackers on, on the rest of our fleet of e bikes. Um, because we now know that the tracker really does help recover the bikes when they are stolen. <laughs>